Hi, my name is Justin Pike, the WWE Champion of the World, and you're watching Sporting Icons. Right, I want to give a huge shout out to Hitman Boxing. He's my pal, and he did a video last night where he showed facts about Deontay Wilder. He's not more popular in America like Deontay Wilder would have you believe. And Hitman, he showed stats. He did the Google Trends as a who's searching for Deontay Wilder, who's checking up to see what Deontay Wilder's doing compared to Anthony Joshua. He did it globally, and that was a very, very one-sided affair. That was Anthony Joshua sky high, and, and Deontay Wilder was like a minnow. He really, really was. Now, of course, if you look at the grand scale of things with Google Trends, you know, we're looking at boxers here. Um, as far as the Google trend goes, Joshua isn't even near the top, not even close to it. But when you compare all the fighters currently, and more specifically, Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua destroys him. So all those fanboys who out there who says there's no way that um, Anthony Joshua is more popular in the United States than Deontay Wilder, Hitman Boxing proved that Anthony Joshua is more popular in America than what Deontay Wilder is. Not by a lot, give it that. Globally, it's ridiculous. But in America specifically, and it shouldn't be this way. In America, the Americans should be searching for Deontay Wilder. They should be following Deontay Wilder. He's a WBC heavyweight champion of the world, right? He's undefeated, 39-0. He's about to have a huge fight on March the 3rd against Luis Ortiz. And this is where the problem lies. It's taken 40 fights for him to actually step up. It's taken him nine years to do so. Deontay Wilder doesn't have a promotional team, if you like, to promote him. He has to do it all himself, and he's not very good at it. Well, he is to a point, but he rubs people up the wrong way. He will annoy people, is what he does. And I've been saying it for a long time. I really have. And by the way, click that subscribe button and like button if you haven't done so already. And Deontay Wilder has just been ranting and raving and every second word that he spews out of his mouth is Anthony Joshua and if it's not Anthony Joshua he's, he's talking about himself as in I'm the most feared heavyweight I love my fans I promise you this and I promise you that and fee fi fo fum and all this kind of jazz that he keeps on going on about it's ridiculous really and again he has his himself to blame all he's going to do is step up he should have done this years ago but against Luis Ortiz he is making a step in the right direction and even now what makes it worse is that I get a lot of his fans talking on my pages saying that Deontay Wilder has a better record than Anthony Joshua because all Anthony Joshua has done is be a 41 year old Vladimir Klitschko that's it but yeah it's perfectly acceptable for Deontay Wilder to get in there with Luis Ortiz, who's, what, pretty much the same age, all by a year or two. He has a heart condition. He's never been world champion. Vladimir Klitschko reigned for 10 years. So, if you're going to give Deontay Wilder props for Luis Ortiz, then you have to do it for Anthony Joshua. Personally, I'm looking forward to March the 3rd. And personally, I do believe that Luis Ortiz is going to knock out Deontay Wilder. Wilder is the favourite, no doubt. And of course, it wouldn't surprise me if he was to win. I'm not going to say it's a foregone conclusion because it's not. He's always got that big equaliser. But anyway, going back onto the subject, Deontay Wilder is not more popular in America than Anthony Joshua. He's not. Hitman Boxing proved it. Another way to look at it. Look on Twitter, look on social media. Who has way more followers? Who? Who? And you say, well, it's only Twitter, it's only Instagram, it's only Facebook, whatever. Well, no, it's a fact. It's global. Anybody can follow any of these guys. But they choose not to follow Dante Wilder. They choose to follow Anthony Joshua. Again, that's another fact for you. Um, Dante Wilder shouts a lot. Uh, he says that he's better than any other past fighter. Now, it's good to have confidence, no doubt about it. And I know a lot of you fanboys out there of Deontay Wilder, you can't see the forest for the trees. You really can't because it's one of those situations where you believe in him so blindly. 
you can't see the facts. If you actually step back and look at the whole situation, you'll see that I'm right. You'll see that a lot of people are right about Deontay Wilder. And it's not that people dislike Wilder, it's that people are disappointed in Wilder that it's taken this damn long. People are fed up of hearing him talk about Anthony Joshua. People are fed up of him talking about, I'm the best, I'm the most feared heavyweight on the planet. I'm this, I'm that, but yet never once stepped up, never once proved it. And people say, well, you know what, he tried to fight Povetkin. Well, again, he didn't try to fight Povetkin. I don't know where, why you guys think that. He did not try to fight Alexander Povetkin. He was forced into the fight because Povetkin was the mandatory. Well, he was willing to go to Russia to fight him. Again, wrong. He wasn't. Povetkin's team won the purse bid. They chose Russia. He had no choice but to go to Russia. Alexander Povetkin did fail a test, okay. Um, it was 0 0.02 milligrams, whatever the hell it was. I, I'm crap when it comes to PEDs. But either way, this specific uh, PED that was in the system of Povetkin, six weeks earlier, was legal. So had the fight took place six weeks earlier, it wouldn't have mattered. He'd have, he'd have passed. Now, that's not to say it's right. For me, I don't think anybody should be putting anything into their body. You know, everything should be natural or everybody should be taking PEDs. Either way, it should be an, ev um, an even playing field is what I'm saying. But regardless, Jonathan Wilder does not get credit for fights that didn't happen. Lewis Ortiz, okay, he was supposed to have fought him a year ago, but he didn't. No, I don't want to fight Lewis Ortiz because Lewis Ortiz, he's a past PED user. All right, Alexander Wojcik, another guy who popped for PDs, but he shouldn't have been fighting Al Al um, Andre Wojcik anyway. He shouldn't have been doing it. It's absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, the point of this video is go check out Hitman Box in his video, and he proved exactly what a lot of people have been saying, and and there has been a bit of an argument, which there shouldn't be really an argument because Wilder should be head and shoulders above Anthony Joshua in America as a whole, as a whole. Now, again, if you look at North America, AJ kills him. You look at South America, AJ kills him. Look at Europe, AJ destroys him. Look at um, the rest of the world, AJ destroys him. There's only like a couple of places that maybe Wilder actually outdoes Joshua and that happens to be in like, what was it like North Korea or something? Wherever it was, in Nepal or... Of course, there are certain places certain states in america that wilder is more popular of course alabama would have to be one of them uh, i think new york was the other one i forgot what hitman said now but there are a couple but as a whole of america anthony joshua is more popular so all you wilder fanboys what you really need to be doing now is sitting down and be humble recognize your guy is the b-side i don't want to hear no excuses i don't want to be arguing with you because i'm not going to argue with you i'll just block you as simple as that if you're going to um attack me on a personal level if you're going to have an opinion hey no worries you know what i mean i'm very very um open for you guys to have have an opinion this is what my channel's for but for you guys to start getting nasty you're just an aj dick rider that's all you are just an aj dick rider well you're just a wilder dick rider and all these channels out there who's riding with wilder who accuse other people of being fanboys look at the damn mirror Look at what you are accusing people of, but yet you do it yourself. You really do. It's, it's embarrassing. Deontay Wilder is not somebody to follow. He's not a role model. He strangled prostitute back in 2013. He's been done, or sorry, he's been caught twice within the last 12 months, is it, for possession of marijuana. He's done so much stuff. He's not a role model. Now, is he a good guy? Yeah, probably. I imagine he probably is. You know, he's a family man, all this kind of thing. I think he's just had a baby, I believe. Not too sure. But he's doing a lot for his family. You know, he got into boxing. Yes, he got into boxing late. But he got into boxing so he can provide for his daughter. With uh, Spina Bifida, I think she has. So he's doing the right things. And his backstory is absolutely fantastic. But... Now he's made the money, he's making a mockery of the WPC title. To start with, he's calling the belt Sophia. That's ridiculous. Now, I know a lot of people say, all you do is talk about Deontay Wilder. Well, well, I'll tell you what, there's nothing else in the news right now. 
and Deontay Wilder is dominating the news. So his Google trend, if you like, will be going up through the roof. Now, it's very simple. If you don't like it, don't listen. It's very, very simple, okay? All you guys do is talk about Deontay Wilder. That's all you do. Well, guess what? We're, we're, we're actually putting his name in the media. Isn't that what you want? Don't you want his name spread out? We're making him famous outside Alabama. Anyway, big up, shout out, Hitman Boxing. Pop over to his page, watch his video, click his thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Please make sure you do that. Anyway, I'll catch you all in the next video. Deontay Wilder, you are not more popular in your own back garden than what Anthony Joshua is. Catch you next video.